Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to use Google Translate. To get to Google Translate, just go to translate.google.com. I'll put that in the description below so you can just click on it. So I'm going to kind of walk you through how this works. So you could type in here or paste any text here and it will translate it to the language of your choosing. At the time of this recording, there are 133 languages to choose from in Google Translate. I have it at detect language automatically right now. So I'm gonna go to an email and just cut and paste some text here. Because I have detect language, it's just automatically going to detect the language when I, when I paste it in here. And then, as you can see, I had it set at Japanese. So it is already uh, translated that. I can click on Arabic, of course. I can also do the drop down and choose any language. And I can also click on um, the listen button and have it read it to me. All right, so that's, that's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna clear these out and now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just show you the detect language. If I'm gonna paste some French words in here. And so I'm gonna paste and then it automatically detected that it was French. I could go over here and type in English and it will translate it for me. All right, so that is typing in. You can also speak, but because I'm on detect language, you can see that the, um, the voice input is disabled. But if I am going to speak into, if I'm gonna use my microphone, um, I would choose English. Let me clear that out. So I would use English and then I could click the microphone and then you just start speaking and Google will translate as you speak. So we can see over here on the other side that it is translating, period. And it does a really good job, exclamation point. So I'm gonna stop it there. And of course, you can change the language. You can also click that star and that will save that translation. So there's the save translation because I click the little star. Another option is you can upload a document into Google Translate. It can be uh, a Word document, a PDF, a PowerPoint, even a spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm gonna browse my computer and look for a PDF. So here's a Google Classroom Cheat Sheet for students. I have it in Arabic, and I'm gonna choose Translate. It's all done, so now I'm gonna download translation, click Save, and let's take a look at the document. And it does say machine translated by Google right here. So that's good for the families to see that it is translated by Google. It says it on every page. So it's a little bit of a disclaimer. So if we scroll down, you can see that we have the uh, Arabic translation. So that's pretty sweet, nice. So that is how you upload a document. It's pretty, pretty easy. Now you might notice that there's no place for me to upload a Google Doc. Well, that's because you can translate a Google document right in Google Docs. You don't need to do it in translate.google.com. So let me show you what that looks like. I have this document. This is a Google Doc about inserting audio into Google Slides. Let's say I want to give this to students and I have a new student in my class who only speaks Arabic. I could go up here to Tools, Translate Document, and I could choose Arabic. Notice it changes the name of the document to Translated Copy of Insert Audio into Slides, and then click Translate. It creates a whole nother document, so it's not gonna mess with your original, it's just gonna make a copy of it, but now it's in Arabic. 
So pretty sweet. Now this doesn't work with slides, Google Slides, but if you notice, if I go back to translate, I, it, I could upload a PowerPoint to this. So if I had a Google Slideshow that I wanted to share with my uh, ESL students, I can download this as a PowerPoint and then go to Google Translate, upload that PowerPoint, click Translate. I still have it on Arabic. Download the translated version. Open it up. Let's take a look. And there is the presentation in Arabic. It still has the videos, and this is in Arabic. It's all in Arabic. So that is how you use Google Translate. It's translate.google.com. You've got the text translation, and you can upload documents. And don't forget, within Google Docs, in Tools, Translate Document, you can pick a language and then translate it in there. One thing that I would suggest is to have some kind of a disclaimer on the document. Maybe just up here you add a little text box before you translate it because you want to make sure that they could read it and just say um, we are using Google Translate to translate this document and um, please forgive any inaccuracies. All right, so that's Google Translate. Have a great day.